You get an A for effort for your trench. Oh, yeah. Because I don't put that much work in it. I just throw some litter up against the pipes. I don't dig a trench out for them. It took you five minutes to walk across the barn kicking the litter. I need a PTO ditcher in here. <laughs> Are you having the time of your life installing all your new Seth Nos? What are these things called? Um, chick mates? No, not chick mates. Feed turbo tray, something like that. Yeah, you better look up the proper name. They're turbo mates. That's what they're yeah, called. Turbo mates. If you want to tell about our little, basically something happened, and our farm was supposed to get birds Thursday. Today's Monday, and now they're coming tomorrow. And we're not really ready at all. Well, for those that know, you know that grow chickens, and uh. You're an independent contractor and you're at the mercy of the company. Yep. You know, if they're not ready, you know, they have all these guidelines that you need to follow for the houses to be ready to get chicks and everything. But when it comes to they need it, those guidelines are gone. Yeah, those yeah, they don't matter there's, then. There's certain things that you're supposed to do or be in the process of doing and, you know, some of that stuff's 48 hours and here we are we got a notice less than 24 hours so you know that's okay for today but if we're in a pinch later on it, it's when they don't need when it's well let's just stop before we get too deep we're in going this too rabbit hole yeah because we're going too far for the ones that know you know what we're talking about we had already had this plan what we're doing here and we'll get into all the other stuff oh, later what did you do that ain't coming off. That's sticky. That's molten plastic from your grinder. We'll get into that too. Yeah. You can show them why we're having to use a grinder. <laughs> from Central City, Kentucky, the home of True Vine Farms, the one and only Farmer. So you guys just bear along. There's a lot of names you're about to hear and they all sound similar and I get confused on them too, but they're all different stuff. So on that end of the barn, we're doing turbo mates. On this end of the barn, we are replacing, I guess these would be our turbo slides. Yeah, so did you tell them why we're doing that? It's basically when we built the barns, we didn't want to spend the money or no, the turbo mate wasn't available yet but the slides were. And we liked the idea of the slides versus the chick, chick mate. mate. But we decided we wanted turbo mates and we bought some for three barns. Or maybe it was we didn't want to buy them for everything and so we bought enough for three barns of the turbo mate now later on. Wait, I think our truck is here to pick up our new Holland. It is. You anyway, got let's finish this. Yeah, we'll go. So we only bought enough through three barns. Well, in the time that we decided to buy more, they changed the design, and the turbo mate would not fit around the slide. It was bigger, so we had to buy all new slides, and we only bought enough to do one in a piece of a barn. Mm -hmm. Well, now they've changed the design again. So these slides, if we when we get new turbo mates, they got to go anyway. And let's walk over to the other side. What's at the other side? Oh, we're gonna show them the turbo uh, tray. We're getting deep into chicken farming today. Yes. So what <laughs> happens is we have a tray like this that sits under this slide and the feed fills up. But when we get ready to migrate chickens, which means move them out farther, we had to raise this feed line so that these pans, see right? Right now, that's in a flood mode. They have a gap down in there. Where a bunch of feed can come through. And we have to raise that to where that closes. Well, what happens is when you raise this, like, like, sometimes this tray may be here or there, that feed keeps coming. Because we want this left out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this, these slides that they, since Seth knows sent us the chick mate, we thought, well, we might as well utilize them because if we get turbo mates later they've got to go anyway is if we put that there 
then it's gonna let that feed stay down in that turbo grow tray yeah and did you show them the cool feature of the new turbo tray oh the spring oh. loaded oh no, gosh no. that's the turbo mate. oh the turbo tray so let me find an old one here so right here as you can see the dusty style yeah this is the wall as if you watch instagram or anything this would be like the white bro this is like the og version is i guess how our well one of them yeah and this is the new version when so, we pick these up you can see we have them on the wall and we're usually a distance away so it's a toss yeah we chug them and what happens sometimes is it comes apart so then you get to pick up and put all these back together which are not hard they snap but if you look there's little um clips on the bottom of these that hold it on together yeah no more coming off it's a miracle <laughs> that's a good feature we see in row crop farming we get excited when we um buy new equipment that's 30 years old and chicken farming we get excited when we get new trays Well, we just got so we just show you how you cut the old slides off, and then our new hauling is on its new venture. Maybe they'll just bring back a whole other tractor. I guess it's going to Orangeboro, Kentucky, to get whatever it needs to be fixed on it. Thank the Lord, we still have a warranty on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because we, you know, that phone call they send to extend your warranty. Yeah, we're that, gonna, we're definitely gonna be asking about that one on it. <laughs> Cause it seems like that tractor has a lot of issues. Yeah, it's only just a it's year, not even a year and a half. Year and a half old and it has less than 300 hours on it. We are making progress. So I want to thank Seth Nose. We've already mentioned them. They sent out all these turbo mates for us to try. And this, of course, we have turbo mates in about four houses that we own. And these are the new updated version that we're going to try on a line or two here. And so far, I like them. They're an easier install and they are not as finicky as the i guess would be the older versions so we're going to show you guys putting these things on and then we're going to talk about some of the different features so we already showed you cutting the slides off that's a pretty well it should be an easier job than what it is but corrosion occurs and phillips, phillips had, had oh gosh the phillip oh junk don't ever use them in your life so we had cut them off with the grinder but basically your slide piece it's a two piece part and it's got hinges so you slap your bottom on, hook the hinges in, and then you rotate it over the top. Do you want to be a demonstrator here? Yeah, you got your groove that goes on the feed line. And then since we've already had them on here, we can line up the middle with the middle of that. And we know that the hole is lined up. And you can open it and show them the hole underneath. And then there's a hole in the tube and then your feet just falls out, you like slide, you close, open, close, open, close. And now we are entering the time consuming part of this is that each slide, you have two bolts you have to install. And it's just a nut and a Phillips head bolt. So we got our driver here and the nut has like a groove up inside the piece of plastic it slides up into to hold itself. And then, you know, you just, have person go down there and put bolts in then you driver comes along hits them all in that's the hardest part of this process oh your fingers healing it's almost scabbed does it still get sore still a little numb there and it's not fully scabbed and so yeah it's still sore but we actually i wasn't around when he did but he took that cylinder apart there ain't nothing left of the seal kit in it. That'd be, it. We're gonna be lucky if we can find a seal kit to put in there. So on our final step, you want come? One y'all want to come demonstrate so I can hold the camera. I need like three hands for this job. So we got our bolts on. Look, we even got like a little spring loaded tab. Open the tab up. Slide the tray around. It's done. Now we gotta multiply that times what? How many trays? Uh, we got 66 in here. 
so 66 which if you did a full full barn you're like 270 something but that simple we're gonna go into more detail though too so what we have in the barn to compare here is we have the first generation over in our older two houses that we have and then we also have the second generation and I'm gonna assume that this is the third generation now don't quote me on any of this because I'm not 100% sure I'm just going based off the updates that we've seen so with your second generation you have a locking tab you have your slide right here that opens the closest feed and it can go either way across well that's got a lot of crap that just fell out of it but anyways and then you push your locking tab in to where the main difference on your third generation is your locking tab is spring loaded so also you just pull well you just pull it pulls and then when you want to drop the tray down and pull the tab it falls back down other than that the tray and all that is still the same design and then we have our chick mates right here that we installed and basically they just have a little tube here that flip up when you don't need feed and then when you want feed you flip them down and we're going to put our new trays under there once again thank you to Seth Nose for sending all this stuff out and we will definitely show it and keep you guys updated as the birds are growing then we also got some I'm going to call it chicken fence but some fences we're going to put in and we're going to show those too we just got done zip tying this fence together we're going to see how this works out but yeah basically you just zip tie each and every little panel together all the way down across the lines but now we got something really cool to show you so what we got next to show you is called a migration fence these things are nice they're this triangle they're easy to maneuver and they slide right together basically they got a male and a female end slide them all on top of each other and they meet like that and it's just it's glorious all the way across the barn look closely these things are made to be cut out to go underneath your feed line and we are not doing that because our integrator likes a solid peck board across the feed line so we're going to use them in the middle of the barn in between the hoppers that run and we're going to stack them in across here and this makes it this makes it convenient you know like easy to move ain't nothing's going to get in their way and then we're going to and then when birds sell we'll put them up against the wall and accidentally wind roll them and then they'll still work if they make it through the wind roller then you know they're good something you're gonna have to do emerson thank you guys for watching this video hope they enjoy it remember faith family farm see you in the next one